left over and one of these the color ones and then these two and these two so I don't know and I've already done put the one over here that needs to be here so I don't know I am not um let's see how I can do this it's not wanting to sit straight there we go now it's I don't think I have to prop you up, but I do want you to see what I'm doing when I'm doing it, so maybe that'll work, and we'll put the thing up there, see how that looks, but I don't know what to do about these, and I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have three of these. So I think I'm going to take them off. Put the two here. And put one here. Nah, I think I'll put that one. I think that would work better. And I'm not even going to put none at the top. I'm just going to leave it right down here at the bottom. But then we have those left over. Now I think we're back to <laughs> figuring out what we got to do here. I got my thread all messed up on this thing. We're going to, oh, look here. We've got another one of these. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do about getting it out. All right. Now, where are we at? That one is done. That one is done. That one is done. Boy, we, we got it going on. Alright, we have this one now. So, I'm hoping that it turns out. I want it to turn out. But Boy Cat keeps on doing what he's doing. We're not going to get it done at all. <laughs> We're going to end up losing half of them. <laughs> But he's loved. Okay, now I got me a bigger stick pin here. Let's see if that has any effect on you guys. No. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I only got two there. I don't want that. I want a third one. To hold to... There we go. Make sure I keep it consistent. And that way it will go right. Alright, now we want to go to the side right here. Go up. Come on. Come on, don't do that. This right here is the harder part, trying to get... You see this right here, right in here? And that's what's stopping me. It keeps on going outwards. Alright. Alright, I'm going to 
to go up right there and I don't want it to come through the back I just want it right there no don't do that <laughs> Here we go. Now, find our next one. Stick it on here. Try. There we go. I think it's going to work out this time. I don't know how come I got so many of them. Uh, that didn't go back in it. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, I got this. So that that works out pretty good for me. All right, now on this one. I'm going to want to make it catty corner going up to this knot here. So I got me a longer needle and it works. See right there, my needle. And then that way I could put my next one on. Alright. I'm going to try to go ahead and finish these up and hope I can get them done today so we can start sewing these together. So far, it's doing pretty good. Alright, I accidentally went through. And I want to take it back through. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing, take it through that one. And I'm, then I'm going to take it through this one. And I'm just pulling on the uh, thread. So, I can't get it lined back up. There we go. See here, I lined it up. And now I got to go down here and find where it is and get it. So I will have be able to take it through the last one. And get I don't, I didn't want it to go. I don't want it to go on the outside here. Oh, look. See, I did it. I did it. Yay. Okay. So, I can't put a bubble in this one. And then go back up in here. Make sure I don't have it anywhere else on the outside. I just want it on the inside. And that works for me. Alright. He did it. Yes. Alrighty. I know. So I got this like halfway in here. And I need it over a little bit. So I'm just going to take and put my stitch where I want it at. And I'm going to tie me a knot right here. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to make this one. It may be double uh, threaded, but it shouldn't hurt anything. Wait a minute, I need to make another knot right here and make it stay right there. So it don't. Okay. Now I'll go back over here. My fingernails are rough and they... In a crank box. One that you just hook it up to. Oh, uh, okay. I know what you're talking about. And then you can crank it. Alright. So here we are with this. And now we're going to turn, tie a knot in it. And now I'm going to put my last one on. I've got a bunch of them done already. So I can't put a bubble down here in the bottom. <coughs> straight up with it. There we go. That's what we want right there. <coughs> Alright. There we 
we go. Now we're going to put our last one on. Them. Oh my gosh, dog, quit barking. I'll be glad to get all these right here done. And then I can start on the sides here. <clears throat> Alright, let me go get stop that dog. Alrighty. Here we're back. Let's see, I got two on here. This will make three. I ain't no needing that dog going through all that crap. Barking and everything. Alright, now we're gonna tie it off for good. And there that is. Alright, now I'm at the end of my thread again. Alright, now we got this one laid out there. And I think they're looking pretty good. I got four more rows. I done a lot last night. And all. I could not sleep. So, I worked on this to get it done. And... I'm glad too. So we're gonna have to put all these together. I wonder if I should put them together in twos, and then put the twos together in the fours. I'm I'm, I'm gonna try to figure out an easy way to do it. Alrighty, I think we can quit right here. Well, it looks like we're stuck right in the middle of the driveway here. It won't crank. We try to jump it off, but it won't work. Oh well. That's the way it goes sometimes. Alright, on a better note, I have a light up here. And believe it or not, let me show you. It lights up all my dirty dishes. And it also gets that side of my stove too. And believe you me, that light does not work anymore. Ever since I put the ceiling fan in, it doesn't work. And I have another light like that. And I'm thinking about putting it right here when I put my kitchen table in. Or right up here over top of my quilting frame. And I'm hoping that it'll work on my being able to see everything. I think it will. But I'm not for sure yet. I ain't made up my mind. Alright. We are on our last one one and then we will be done with sewing all these together now I'm not for sure how I want to sew them and all but I think I think I probably ought to go by twos so it'd be a whole lot more easier to uh to, to uh, keep them together and all. There we go. Well, we got them all done now. And I think it turned out pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, you can most definitely see the love in there. Alright, let's turn them all around, see them backwards. And see how that works. Well, it's backwards, but there is the L O B and E. Well, that looks pretty good. Alright, now let's see what we could do about playing with them and getting them. I need to scoot them up. So I'll be able to play with them. There we go. Alright, now I got these two. I'm going to go with these two right here. And these two. Let's see. Now let's see if we can't get it back here. So here would be the L. I, want, I need it sewed to this one. Yeah, let's just do it this way. And then that way we make sure we get them right. And not 
all messed up. We'll just keep on doing it this way. Cut off every other one. And I gotta figure out how I can do the same thing and not leave the, the stuff in here. The stitches. And I think it. I don't know how we're going to do that, but uh, I am going to go and I'm going to think about what to do on these to see what I could do about making them to where they're not, um, the stitches don't show in between the cracks. There we go. I'll get it out in a minute. But I do think it looks pretty good. And, uh, I found a way to do it. <clears throat> so, I've got all these right here sewed down. They are ready for me to take my next step with these. However, we need to finish them off. Turn it over. Grab my next one. And line it up. And how I know it is this one right here is a different color. And I have no other colors in here. So let's turn it around here. And we're going to start pinning them down. And then that way I'm pinning down every other one. And I'm going to sew all of them down. It's not really that hard. Or it don't take that long. I think that it'll work really good. Alright. So now, let's get our needle. Line these two up. And get the sewing them down. So I'm going to go with three, like I've been going. Unless I need my fourth one, and then I'm going to ouch to hurt. That didn't feel too good, Sandy. Alright, I got my three for the extra. Alright. So, now we're going to take and we're going to put a knot in it. Alright, now we're going to come over to the next one, we'll line it up and go in where we should, you know, where it'll be level. And we're going to sew this one, and I'm going to squeeze it to where it'll come almost to that, that knot there. I'll make me another knot. And then sew it down. And I'm going to keep on the going. <clears throat> I'm going to keep on doing this until I get to the end of it.
All right, now that we got them all sewed down, what we want to do is go in here and want to snip. If you got any left over, snip it off. And just cut it down. And they will be done. <clears throat> but that right there is really close. But other than that, we got it. I probably won't be able to get all these, but I can get the most part of them. <clears throat> and then, there is that. Alrighty. We'll be back. Well, if Mama Cat ain't done it again, I'm going to make her move. Come on, baby. You got to move. Yeah. Alrighty. I've got some uh, binding here. And we're going to open it up. And I'm going to fold it down. Let's see, should I do... I think I'll do this from the back. Yeah. From the back. And now... What I'm going to do is, I'm, I, this thing is going to be full of pins. Because I want to put pins in every one of them. So I don't stretch it, distort it, or anything. And I'm going to go all the way around it. And I'll... <coughs> and... <clears throat> I'll show it to you when I get done with it. Alright, this is not going to be easy to put on, but I'm going to try to show you a little bit of it. And uh, I'm putting it on the back so I can keep, a, keep an eye on all these right here, little floppy things here. And... <clears throat> I'm trying to go down each one of them. <clears throat> and I'm pulling it away from my needle here. And I'm trying. <coughs> to be turned. I wonder how it's doing so far. So far, so good. It's working. That's what counts. And that oh, there goes something in the floor. I'm not going to worry about it. for it to be on the wall. Move that one too. This thing's gonna have a bunch a bunch of needles. Gotta get the needle. I don't want to do that again. Got it before I got it. Yeah. Taking it 
forever for me to do this. Take time doing it. All right. I think I showed you enough how I was trying to do it. Well, if we ain't comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> ain't he cute? He loves it. Okay. Um, I have this right here done. And as you can tell, I went all the way around with it. And I think it looks pretty good. I put the uh, cord up in here uh, to hang it on the wall. I got three buttons right there. I think they look pretty good. Now, if you look at this, I got a hole right here. And the string is going through it so they you'd be able to adjust it right in here. But, however, when you pick it up... It don't do anything. I got to get a, a dial rod and sew it to the back of it. And I'll make, make it uh, straight. But however, it's been snowing here. And we're not going to be able to go get one right now. So we'll get one later. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I would appreciate you donating to Poor Man Sewing. This is how you donate. You go to Poor Man Sewing and mash on it. Then you go up here to About and mash on it. And right here it says Donate to Poor Man Sewing. It will be very much appreciated. Thank you very much.